Hello students, we are going to continue the lesson by solving a basic question under the graph of quadratic functions. So, and I read, copy and complete the following table of values for the relation y equals to 3 minus 2x minus x squared for x between negative 5 and 3. So x is greater than negative 5 and less than or equal to 3. Now we have the values of x being negative 5, negative 4, negative 3 to positive 3. And some values of y were given. Negative 2 is 3, 0 is 3, and positive 3 is negative 12. Using scales of 2 centimeters to 1 unit in the x-axis and 2 centimeters to 2 units on the y-axis, Draw the graph of y equals to 3 minus 2x minus x squared for x being greater than negative 5 and less than 3. C. From your graph, find the i equation of the axis of symmetry. i i values of x for which values of x from which y decreases, and then i i i values of x for which x squared plus 3x minus 3 is equal to 0. So we are going to start by first drawing the table. So we draw the table. So we are going to fix in the values of x to get the corresponding values of y. So from the table, we don't know the value of negative 5. So what we are going to do is we are going to put x equals to negative 5 here to get a corresponding value of y. So if y is equal to 3 minus 2x minus x squared, then when x is equal to negative 5, our uh, y will be equal to 3 minus 2 times negative 5 minus negative 5 squared. So this will give us y equals to 3 minus 2 times minus 5 will give us positive 10 minus negative 5 squared is positive 25. So y will be equal to 3 plus 10 is 13, and 13 minus 25 is minus 12. So this will give us minus 12. So we have, when y is negative 5, y, when x is negative 5, y is minus 12. So we write down, down. <laughs> so we write that down, okay? Then we move on. When x is negative 4, so when x is negative 4, our uh, y will be equal to um, 3 minus 2 times negative 4 minus negative 4 squared. y will be equal to, we shall have 3, negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8, minus negative 4 squared is positive 16. So our uh, y will be equal to 3 plus 8 is 11, and 11 minus 16 is minus 5. So we shall have minus 5 here. So we are going to do that for the rest of the questions, and then we are going to have for the rest of the values of x. So we shall have when x is equal to negative 3. And when x is equal to negative 3, we shall have our y to be equal to 3 minus 2x. So 3 minus 2 times negative 3 minus negative 3 squared. So our y will be equal to 3. Minus 2 times minus 3 is positive 6. And minus 3, minus 3 squared is 9. So y will be equal to 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. So it means when x is negative 3, y is equal to 0. So that of negative 2 has been done. So we move to negative 1. So we have y equals to 3 minus 2x minus x squared. When x is equal to negative 1. We shall have y to be equal to 3 minus 2 times negative 1 minus negative 1 squared. So y will be equal to 3 plus 2 minus 1. So negative 1 squared is 1. So y will be equal to 5 minus 1, which is what? 4. So when x is negative 1, y is 4. So when x is equal to 1. Our y will be equal to 3 minus 2 times 1 minus 1 squared, which will give us y is equal to 3 
minus 2 minus 1. So y is equal to 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So y is equal to 0. And the last one, when x is equal to 2, y will be equal to 3 minus 2 times 2 minus 2 squared. So our y will be equal to 3 minus 4 minus 4, which will give us y is equal to minus 5. So we have minus 5. So that completes our table. And now we are going to move to our OXY plane and then draw the graph of the